Imagine growing up in a small town with barely enough to get by and working multiple jobs just to help your family make ends meet. This was the reality for Howard Schultz, the man who would later turn Starbucks into a global brand. Schultz wasn't born into wealth. In fact, his family struggled financially throughout his childhood. But what set him apart was his vision and relentless drive. He believed in creating something bigger than himself, something that could change the way people experience their daily coffee. Through hard work, perseverance, and smart decisions, Schultz built an empire, and today he's a billionaire. This is how wealthy people truly build their fortunes. They start from the ground up, often with nothing but an idea, and the determination to see it through. It's not about luck. It's about identifying opportunities, taking calculated risks, and continuously learning from every setback. Now, if someone like Howard Schultz can go from rags to riches, what's stopping you? The truth is, anyone can become wealthy, no matter their starting point. It's not reserved for a select few. It's accessible to anyone willing to put in the effort and think strategically. This is how the wealthy build their fortune. They focus on long-term goals, invest wisely, and build multiple streams of income. They understand that building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. And they make decisions today that will pay off for years to come. In today's video, we're going beyond the myths and breaking down how wealthy people truly build their fortunes. We'll explore the strategies and mindsets that can help you start from absolutely nothing and maybe, just maybe, become part of that 60% of self-made millionaires. So subscribe to the channel and let's get started. All right, the first thing you should do is this. Stop thinking that working harder or longer hours will automatically make you rich. The real secret? It's about making your money work for you not just working for your money. Let me explain. Think about it this way. How do wealthy people like Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, or Richard Branson, the brains behind Virgin Group, make their fortunes? They didn't just clock in and out of a nine to five job trading their time for a paycheck. No, they created something that people really wanted or needed, something that made lives better, easier, or more enjoyable. And this is how wealthy people truly build their fortunes by creating value and solving problems on a big scale. So what does that mean for you? It means you need to shift your mindset. Instead of focusing solely on earning a salary, start thinking about how you can create value for others. Whether it's through a product, a service, or even an idea, the key is to find something that people are willing to pay for because it genuinely improves their lives. And when you do that, the money will start to roll in, just like it did for Blakely and Branson. So every time you make someone's life better, you're not just helping them. You're also building your own path to wealth. This is how wealthy build their fortune. They don't just work for money. They make money work for them by continuously creating and expanding the value they offer. So the first step on your journey to financial freedom is to start thinking like the rich. Ask yourself, what can I create or improve that will help others? Once you find that, you're on the right track. This is the secret behind how wealthy people build their fortunes, and it's how you can start building yours too. So you're ready to take that first step toward building wealth from scratch. Now let me tell you something. Most wealthy people didn't start with a trust fund or a golden ticket. In fact, about 68% of rich people, those with a net worth of $30 million or more, are completely self-made. And if that's not impressive enough, 88% of all millionaires got there by rolling up their sleeves and doing the hard work themselves. What does that tell you? It's not about where you begin. It's about where you're going. Your financial future is entirely in your hands. Most wealthy people build their fortunes, starting with nothing but a dream and the determination to make it a reality. The first step isn't some magical moment where wealth just appears. No, it's built in your mind first. The books you read, the markets you learn about, the people you connect with, all of these are the building blocks of your future fortune. Think about it. Why do professional athletes make millions while others might struggle to get by? It's because they've mastered a skill that entertains and excites millions of people. They're not just playing a game. They're providing massive value that people are willing to pay for. By honing their skills, understanding their market, and delivering something that people need or want. So here's what you need to do next. Start investing in yourself. 
Whether it's learning a new skill, diving into a market you're passionate about, or surrounding yourself with like-minded people who are also driven to succeed, it all begins with you. Remember, wealth isn't found, it's created. And it's created through your actions, your mindset, and your willingness to keep pushing forward even when things get tough. This is how wealthy people build their fortunes. They take that first step no matter how small, and they keep moving forward, learning and growing along the way. You have the power to do the same. It's not going to happen overnight, but with the right mindset and a commitment to creating value, you can build the wealth you've always dreamed of. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more. So I know. All right, now that we've covered how important it is to solve problems and disconnect your time from your income, let's now talk about the third and final law of building wealth, scaling your idea. This is where the magic really starts to happen. You've got a great idea, you've solved a problem, and now it's time to take that solution and multiply its impact. This is another way the rich build their fortunes. They don't stop at a small win. They expand, they grow, and they scale their successes into something much bigger. Let's take a closer look at the first of the three laws, solving a problem. The reason people are willing to part with their hard-earned money is because they have a problem that needs solving. Think about it. When you're hungry, you pay for food. When you're bored, you pay for entertainment like Netflix. The bigger the problem you solve, the bigger your potential reward. Look at companies like Google, Apple, and Amazon. Google solved the chaos of the internet by creating an organized search platform. Apple put a supercomputer in your pocket with the iPhone, revolutionizing communication. And Amazon? They turned your living room into a shopping mall, eliminating the need for tedious store visits. Let me give you a real-life example that might hit closer to home. Remember when getting a taxi used to be such a hassle? You had to have cash on hand, deal with change, and sometimes even argue about the fare. Then came along Uber, which solved a simple but significant problem making transportation easy and cashless. Now, Uber is a multi-billion dollar company all because they solved a problem that many people faced daily. They identify a problem, solve it effectively, and then scale that solution. The next law is just as crucial. Don't let time limit your pay. Time is the one resource we all have in equal measure. You, me, Jeff Bezos, we all get the same 24 hours in a day. But how we use those hours can make all the difference. Wealthy people understand this and have found ways to decouple their income from their time. They don't trade hours for dollars. They create systems, businesses, or products that keep making money even when they're not actively working. Think about a coffee shop owner. They're not making every single cup of coffee themselves. Instead, they've hired a team to handle the day-to-day -day tasks, freeing up their time to focus on growing the business, launching a new location, or developing a customer loyalty program. This is how wealthy people truly build their fortunes. They invest in systems that continue to generate income even when they're not directly involved. A great example of this is J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. She wrote those books years ago, but she's still earning money from them today. Her income isn't tied to the time she spends writing anymore. Instead, she's created something valuable that continues to pay her back over and over again. This is the second law of building wealth, and it's a game changer. By unshackling your income from your time, you open up the possibility of earning even when you're not working, whether you're on vacation, sleeping, or spending time with family. Now let's move on to the final law, scaling your idea. This is where your small, initial success can turn into something massive. It's not enough to solve a problem and disconnect your income from your time. To truly build wealth, you need to take that solution and multiply its impact. Think about Microsoft. They developed Windows, and instead of just selling it to a handful of customers, they scaled it. Now, it's on nearly every PC around the world. This is how rich people truly build their fortunes. They take a good idea and make it great by expanding its reach or consider a popular YouTuber like Mr. Beast. He didn't just stop after his first successful video. He leveraged that success to build an entire channel that now reaches millions of people. The key to his success wasn't just in creating one good video, it was in scaling his efforts, continually improving his content, and reaching a broader audience. So, what's the takeaway here? 
Don't just be satisfied with solving a problem or creating something valuable. Think bigger. Ask yourself, how can I take this solution and reach more people? How can I scale this idea so that it impacts not just dozens, but thousands or even millions of lives? The more people you can help, the more wealth you can build. In a nutshell, these three law-solving problems, uncoupling your time from your income and scaling your ideas, are the foundation of building real, lasting wealth. This is how wealthy people truly build their fortunes. They start small, but they think big. They solve problems, they create systems that work for them, and they scale those systems to reach as many people as possible. And the best part? You can do it too. You don't need to start with millions. You just need to start with an idea, a willingness to learn, and the determination to keep growing. All right, so we've covered the basics of building wealth, and now it's time to talk about the fast track, the express lane to financial freedom. If you're serious about skyrocketing your net worth, there's one path that stands out above the rest, owning a majority stake in your own business. You've probably heard the saying, if you wanna go fast, go alone. In the world of wealth building, this couldn't be more accurate. Let's break it down with some real numbers. Imagine you start a business and own 100% of it. Now let's say your business grows and you decide to sell just a tiny 10% stake for $100,000. Suddenly, your remaining 90% is worth over a million dollars. Just like that, you're a millionaire on paper. And that's the power of owning a business. This is how wealthy people create their fortunes. They create something of immense value and keep control over it. If you really want to fast track your financial success, there's no better way than rolling up your sleeves and diving into entrepreneurship. Sure, the risks are higher, but the rewards, they're exponential not just incremental. And here's the truth. The majority of the world's top billionaires didn't get there by inheriting money or winning the lottery. No, they built their fortunes by starting their own businesses. Look at the Forbes list of the wealthiest people in the world and you'll see a common thread. Many of them kept a majority stake in their companies, took them public and grew them into global giants. These aren't just business owners, they're empire builders. Think about Jeff Bezos with Amazon, Elon Musk with Tesla, or Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook. They leveraged the power of ownership and scalability to create some of the biggest companies on the planet. This is how wealthy people truly build their fortunes. They start with an idea, take calculated risks, and then scale those ideas to incredible heights. And here's the most inspiring part. They all started where many of us are right now, with just an idea and the courage to act on it. So, if they can do it, why can't you? The path is clear and the blueprint is right in front of you. Your empire awaits, and it all starts with taking that first bold step. They don't wait for opportunities to come to them. They create their own. Now, as we sum up the whole discussion, let's remember that the purpose of this video is to educate you on various aspects of investing and not to give you any specific investment advice. Investing involves risks and uncertainties, and you should always do your own research and consult with qualified professionals before making any financial decisions. Past performance does not guarantee future results, and it's crucial to consider the risks before putting your money at stake. If you found this video helpful, I highly recommend watching my next video, which is the perfect complement to this one. Don't hesitate to share this video. It might just help someone else on their journey to financial freedom. And before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts on today's topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.